Hello, friends. When the new year is knocking around, all we, we, we have a desire to know how will be the year 2023 going to be. What are the major events that may trigger during the year 2023? So today's video is on how the year 2023 going to be. And in this video, we will uh, discuss what are the major transit which is going to happen in 2023 and how this transit will affect different ascendant. This will give you a snapshot, uh, uh, what we can say, uh, area in which uh, your focus will be in, in the year 2023. Okay, so let us discuss what are the major tra transit that is going to be happen in the year 2023. So in that list, First, the transit of Saturn is going to happen on 7, 17 January 2023. Okay, this is the first transit, major transit of the year. That is, Saturn will enter in the sign of Aquarius on 17 January 2023. That is the first major transit which is going to happen in the year 2023. Next major transit will going to happen on 22nd April when Jupiter will going to enter in the sign of Aries. Here Saturn will going to enter in the sign of Aquarius and here Jupiter will going to enter the sign of Aries. And finally on November 29 at the end of the year 2023. Okay. Rahu and Ketu will going to change the sign. Rahu and Ketu will move from uh, Aries, uh, uh, Aries Libra axis to Pisces uh, Virgo axis. So these are the three major transit which is going to happen in the year 2023. Along with that, you will find there will be two uh, lunar eclipses and two solar eclipses that is going to happen in this year. The first Solar eclipse will going to happen on 20th April. When Sun transit the sign of Aries, this eclipse will going to happen. To counter that, there will be a lunar eclipse on 5 and 6, 5 or 6 May. It depends on where in the globe you are. And there will be a lunar eclipse. So basically, this is a total solar eclipse and this is a uh, partial uh, lunar eclipse, which is going to happen on uh, 20th April 2023 and 5 and 6th May 2023. In 14th October, there will be a so solar eclipse again. There will be a solar eclipse. Okay, when sun transit in the sign of Libra and uh, there will be a partial lunar eclipse that will going to happen on 28th or 29th October 2023. Okay, so these are the Two solar eclipses will going to happen on 20th April and 14th October. And uh, uh, two lunar eclipses going to happen on 5th, 5th or 6th May or 28th or 29th October. Depending on where you are, you will, uh, you will have, uh, you, you can able to see the, these eclipses. Okay. Actually, Rahu Ketu transit, uh, whenever it happens, it is just changing the eclipse axis. So this we can say this eclipse will going to happen in Aries and Libra axis. And after that, this axis of eclipse may happen after 18 years. So it, this is the final kind of eclipse which is going to happen uh, during this Rahu and Ketu transit. Okay, so this is the, these are the major transit which is going to happen in the year 2023. First Saturn will transit to Aquarius then Jupiter will transit to uh, Aries uh, along with that Rahu Ketu transit will happen in the at the end of the year that is November uh, 29. Okay, so uh, these are the major transit. So let us discuss how this transit will going to happen, uh, going to affect different ascendant. Okay, so for that we need to understand the transit a little bit in more, a little bit in more detail way. Okay. So for that, we will have basically two charts. Okay. For that, we are having two charts. First is 
after 17th January 2023, and this chart is applicable till April. Uh, uh, we can say this chart is applicable. This chart is applicable. Till April twenty uh, second. After that, April twenty second, this chart will be applicable. Okay. So basically, you will find there are two charts. One, you will find uh, uh, you will find after uh, the transit of Saturn in the sign of Aquarius, you will see Saturn will aspect the sign Aries. Okay, and Rahu is there in the Aries. And Saturn is going to uh, going to have the uh, seventh tenth aspect on the sign of uh, Scorpio, and al along with that, Jupiter will going to have a, 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 a going to have the ninth aspect on the sign of uh, Scorpio. So when Saturn transit to the sign of Aquarius, you will find these two signs of zodiac are uh, are um, uh, are getting activated like. The Aries sign and Scorpio sign, and uh, look look out where this sign is placed in, in which house in your horoscope. These two signs are placed. Both the sign are going to activate. Okay, so you must remember that this is this this transit is like uh, like uh, this transit will affect you in uh, in many ways. Okay, so as I mentioned, the transit of Saturn in the sign of Aquarius. Will trigger this Aries and Scorpio axis. Okay, so for an Aries ascendant from January seventeen to April uh, April twenty April twenty second, this period for Aries ascendant, the first and eighth house are going to be activated, and depending on the dasha, which dasha is running, whether planets are placed on this sign, the Aries ascendant may. Experience the effect. Remember, for Aries ascendant, as Rahu is in the lagna, okay. For as Rahu is in the lagna, so what I feel this period is a very difficult period to take decisions. What I feel you may have wrong perception. You may uh, may uh, you are not uh, seeing the uh, situation as a whole, for which you may may take wrong decisions. Okay, so this period you need to take extra care while taking as a, any major decision because your first house and eighth house both are getting activated. Okay, so for uh, Taurus ascendant, if you are looking for the Taurus ascendant, you will see the their twelfth house and seventh house are getting activated. That means we can say that this this period they may uh, spend some more money. Okay. They will spend some more money, and they may have uh, different kind of uh, relationship. But we can say there may be partnership, there may be a relationship. Those things may be may highlighted in their uh, in their in their life. For uh, for a uh, Gemini ascendant, you see the eleventh house and sixth house are getting uh, activated. And uh, remember, this eleventh and sixth house are called as Tano Tana Dandahara. Okay, the sixth house and eleventh house are getting activated. So for uh, Libra ascendant, this is the time where uh, for uh, Gemini ascendant, this is the time where they will focus on friend friend circle, networking circle, large networking circle on uh, internet. They will uh, spend time in uh, surfing Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those kind of things. Okay, and the sixth house. So there may be some kind of health issue. There may be some kind of loan they might uh, apply. Uh, the loan they may uh, take during this period. Okay, the next thing is that for Cancer ascendant, you will see for Cancer ascendant the fifth. Uh, for Cancer ascendant, the fifth house and tenth house are getting activated. And as, as the fifth house and tenth house are getting activated, we can say that this time they may uh, they, they, they will focus on their kids, okay, and they can focus on their profession. These are the two areas where actually the focus will be for uh, 
for Leo ascendant, for Leo ascendant, you see that for Leo ascendant, the uh, fourth house of uh, uh, mother, uh, vehicle, uh, or uh, uh, home, home environment that is going to be activated along with the ninth house, long distance travel, teacher, guru, father, those things may be highlighted in their life. Okay. For uh, uh, Virgo ascendant, when we are talking about the Virgo ascendant, look, their third house, the house of travel, along with the eighth house are getting activated. So what I feel this period for Virgo ascendant, uh, seven, after January 17th till April 22, they need to be more careful because their third and uh, eighth uh, axis is getting activated. Okay. For uh, Libra ascendant, you see your second and seventh axis are getting activated. Second house and seventh house are getting activated. So their focus may be on uh, their own family or their finances, or we can say their partnership, relationship, this kind of thing that may activate uh, during this period. Okay. For Scorpio ascendant, the Lagna Bhava, for Scorpio ascendant, you will see the Lagna Bhava, And the sixth house for Scorpio ascendant, it is the Lagna and the sixth house. These two houses are getting activated. So these people need to be take care of their own health, of their personality, of their uh, of, 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 of the total thing. Okay. So this the the, the, the uh, during this period they may uh, they may have some health issue. So they need to be take care because. Uh, because uh, as the first and sixth house are getting activated, uh, what I feel uh, there, there, there may be a chances where they actually have some health issue. So Scorpio ascendant, they this is the, this time they can uh, they can utilize to focus uh, on their own health and improve their health. Okay, for uh, Scorpio ascendant and uh, for uh, Sagittarius ascendant, you will find their fifth and. Uh, 12th house are getting activated. So this period, they may have some expenses. They will focus on their kids. Okay, that 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 kind of thing that may trigger in their life. Okay, for Capricorn ascendant, fourth and eleventh house. So it is all about their uh, home, homeland, mother. Okay, and uh, friends, friends are killed. Okay, this kind of thing that may highlight during this period. For uh, Aquarius ascendant, you see that Saturn will be in the Lagna, okay, and their third house and as we as the ninth house are getting activated. So these people need to put more hard work, okay, and if they are if they want to uh, write certain kind of book and publish them, so this period they can utilize because the Lagna Lord is third house and uh, eighth house are being expected by Jupiter and uh, Saturn. Okay, uh, ninth house. So this period, they may be able to work on their uh, writings uh, and uh, on their publication. That may happen during the, this period. For uh, 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 for For Pisces ascendant, you see for Pisces ascendant, the second and ninth house activated. And for uh, Aquarius ascendant, it was third and tenth house. Okay, so they can uh, think of their writing as well as their profession. For Aquarius ascendant, the finances and uh, it is all about their family finances. Okay, along with that, they need to think about, uh, they may have long distance travel, uh, they may have to meet the guru, teacher, father, this kind of thing may highlight during this period. So this is the prediction what we can make, uh, what we can say uh, for, for the period uh, January 17 to April 15. Okay. But after April 15, you will find a very interesting thing. Okay. Jupiter will going to transit in the house of Rahu. So there will be a Guru Chandala Yoga. Okay, and Saturn will aspect, and Saturn will aspect this Guru Chandala Yoga from Aquarius. So it is all about the first side, 
of your zodiac of the zodiac that means the aries will going to be highlighted in everyone's chart for everyone the aries sign will going to, going to be highlight, highlighted okay for aries ascendant it is happening in the lagna bhava so these people need to take more conscious while taking any major decision and what i feel they if possible they uh, must avoid to take major decision during this period because rahu ji is transiting in their lagna along with jupiter jupiter is creating a uh, 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 rahu jupiter is guru chandal dosho which is going to happen in the lagna and saturn is expecting specifically if someone has arudha lagna in the sign of aries then they need definitely need to be take uh, uh, extra care because this time is very bad for their image because rahu is transiting over the image along with saturn is expecting so and uh, guru chandal is happening on their uh, arudha lagna okay for taurus ascendant it is all about their expenses expenses they need to take extra care while they are spending for uh, gemini ascendant it is all about 11th house they need to be extra conscious when they are dealing with their friends and when they are uh, in their network cycle when they are uh, dealing with their elder sibling okay for cancer ascendant it is the 10th house so this uh, this is this time they need to be put more focus on their profession they need, they, they they will spend time uh, more time on on their profession okay for leo ascendant it is in the 9th house so they may have long distance travel or they need to be take uh, extra uh, care when they are doing long distance travel for uh, virgo ascendant look it is happening in the 8th house the triple transit effect of triple transit is going to come in the 8th house so this people need to be take extra care because uh, this period is very prone to accidents so accident may happen in their life okay uh, uh, for uh, libra ascendant for libra ascendant you see that uh, this is happening in the 7th house of partnership or relationship so they need to be more conscious or uh, what we can say uh, very, very conscious when they are dealing with their partners when they are dealing with the, with the relationship okay for uh, scorpio ascendant it is happening in the 6th house so uh, what i feel this time is not uh, very good for the scorpio ascendant to make uh, enemies so while uh, arguing with someone this scorpio ascendant people need to be more conscious for sagittarius ascendant it is happening in the 5th house so we can say that this is the time where they will focus on their children and uh, what i uh, uh, what i suggest they need to be more uh, conscious or careful while dealing with their kids for capricorn ascendant it is all about the fourth house oh mother motherland okay for aquarius ascendant it is happening in the third house of travel uh, dealing with the younger sibling writing communication so this uh, aquarius ascendant need to be more conscious or careful when they are dealing with those things and finally for pisces ascendant as it is happening in the second house dhana bhava or we can say uh, own family finances resources so these people need to be very careful when they are taking make, make, making any decision regarding uh, those things so friends this this will uh, this, this this will the reason after april 22 uh, when jupiter will transit to the sign of aries and it will continue to the end of this year that i mean to say uh, 29th november after that rahu will transit to pisces and the triple transit effect will somehow different so remember if someone is having arudha lagna arudha lagna in the sign of aries so these people need to be more careful because this transit will really affect their image and you can you can uh, you can worship madruga you can uh, you can uh, what you can say uh, visit the lord shiva mandir on monday to reduce the ill effect of this transit okay so friends uh, remember uh, this transit will bring many Uh, different themes in our life so 
majorly in 2023 the axis is uh, what i feel on the, uh, the the focus will be on the sign aries wherever aries in your chart that sign will be getting getting activated if you are having planets on that side then uh, you may have a prominent effect on that. If you are having a planet in that sign and you are running that dasa, then definitely you are going to uh, going to feel the energy of this transit in the year 2023. So friends, uh, wish you a happy and prosperous new year 2023. Hope all your wishes come true. Hope you like my channel a lot uh, this year. So this is all about how the year 2023 will going to be. Hope you like this video. Do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you and a happy new year.